Well, I, you know, obviously in this league, anytime you come up with two points, you're, you're happy with two points, and they're two league points, and, um, you know, it gets us to 7-4-1 and one in, in 12 games, and you've only got 20 in the league. So uh, I, like, I like the fact that we, we showed some resolve and resiliency and found a way to win. Uh, I don't like the, the way we got there. Um, you know, I talked to the team just after the game, and, and again, congratulating for the two points and the win. But to advance in this league and to advance to wherever you want to get to, there's a word discipline that you need to uh, play with all the time. I just thought our lack of discipline on the ice um, didn't allow us to create much momentum uh, in the second or third period. And I thought we got it going a little bit in the third and then um, to play the style that we want to play, then I just thought we, um, our, again, our lack of discipline showed and taking a five-minute major, which was deserved, uh, gave them momentum. And, and certainly they had a lot of shots early on, and a lot of it was generated from, our power, from their power plays. And momentum that we just couldn't get our guys on the ice again. We, we were playing the same guys. So, um, you know, they come at you. They're, hard, they're a hard team to play against, and they've, uh, they showed again tonight. And obviously, Clay Wood, I thought, uh, uh, was uh, tremendous for us in holding the fourth down, particularly on, on um, their power plays. And you know, the guy to my left continues to uh, have a hot hand in around the net, um, and you know, gave us a big goal. We wanted to, we wanted to take the lead. We knew it was going to be a close scoring game. We just thought if we can get that first one, that we can drive it a little bit, and that's what I thought we did. Um, tomorrow night's game is, is not two points in the lead, but two critical. Uh, excuse me, it's 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 a it's a critical game because of uh, all the other factors that uh, can come into play later on. So uh, please with the two points. Uh, there's things that we have to do. I thought we were better defensively. I thought we were better in certain areas of the game. But uh, discipline was uh, certainly lacking tonight. Brady, what do you think the, the mm. come from? Like the, the, the um, I think we. As a team, we uh, pride ourselves on playing hard and being tough to play against. And sometimes when your feet aren't going in games, you start reaching and uh, uh, taking uh, some stick penalties. And we kind of got caught uh, taking too many stick penalties. And they were out skating us a lot of, a lot of the period. So um, we just need to, to pick it up. And uh, we, got the, we got the win, so that's, that's all that matters. Great. And that's the first, uh, first, the first, most of the first two periods, Um, they're a very good team. They they came to play tonight, and uh, they were out skating us. And uh, luckily, the guy to my left here um, has backstopped, backstopped us all year and uh, helped keep us in the game. And then once we finally got going, uh, we figured it out and got uh, Swatula made a nice pass in the power play, and we got the first one there. Uh, it's huge for us. Um, anytime you can uh, go into the third period with a lead, uh, whether it be home or away, um, it's huge. Um, it kind of gives you that confidence boost and that momentum to, to come out and play hard in the third period and just play a good defensive game and, and come out with two points. Uh, yeah, like we see him in practice all the time. We know you can stop 100 shots if you put 100 shots on him. So um, it's just as a team, we gotta we gotta bear down a little bit more probably that. We gotta play better defensively. We know we can score. Um, we just gotta clean up our defensive zone, help Clay out a bit. Um, yeah, definitely. You definitely get into a rhythm. You start seeing the puck well. And yeah, it helps. And were there a lot, was there a lot of traffic in front of you? Uh, my D were doing a really good job of boxing out and um, making sure their their guy in front was uh, they gave me a clear lane to see everything. So it, um, he did a hell of a job with that. Is there one save that kind of stood out to you? Is kind of a change in the game or a big save in the play base? Um, no, not nothing in particular. I just I thought I'd just try to play solid for every shot. So you know, same game plan no matter what the time of the game is. So. Quite. Now that the game is over, can you sort of whack at that one that's sort of bouncing off the glass and then once it hits, hit you in the back? No. No. Really no. 
I will, I will, I'll be mad about that one for a while. So. Is there anything you can do on a shot like that when you know it's going high? You, you turn around, it seems like it's dangerous to turn around on it. Um, well, I, I kind of lost it through a screen, so I knew it like went behind me, and at that point I'm just trying to like recover to a post, you know, try to, you don't really expect it to come back in front, so. Uh, just tough bounce, it is what it is, move on. Yeah, no, it, it's, uh, we, we've had that conversation, Andy, and it's, uh, when I look at the game, and again, I'll, I'll look at the tape later on, I thought we were better defensively in our own zone. You know, I was more, in the first period, they had 17 shots. I didn't think they had a lot of quality shot opportunities on us. So a lot of shots. But I wasn't worried about the shots, and I, you know, you've heard me all year long, I'm not a real big shot guy, it's, it's quality. Um, in that second and third period, there was more quality shots, and, and they had pucks, and they were buzzing because they're just missing at the net front. First period, I didn't really think there was it was an issue, but I, I thought we did a better job defensively. But you know, our, uh, the same guys played an awful lot because the pen, because of, of our uh, undisciplined play, and, and they were, we put them on the power play too often. Um, and you know, then you get out of a rhythm, and we couldn't generate any momentum for the, as the game went along because power plays, we put them on the power play. So the message is clear. The message is stay the penalty box. And I mean, we had four reaching penalties from guys who have two, three, four minors the whole year. Hello? No, he hasn't played much in three years, and he, uh, he's, he, <laughs> I think he's ready to play whenever his number is called. And, uh, and so, and we've got confidence in him. We've got confidence in Derek and uh, in Brian. But no, he's he's been well rested. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it, we didn't call it to change momentum. We called it because we were dead. We had. Uh, you know, two defensemen out and three forwards who who were overextended on the shift, and um, they just they're out there for a good minute plus, and you can see they're huffing and puffing. And you know, a lot of times you think that it, you have two help, you know, two fresh defensemen or three fresh forwards that you can get through it. We had five really, you know, uh, guys who were tired, so we called it for that reason and allowed us to get you know a fresh start, your know, fresh five guys out there and. Um, yeah, we didn't do it for that, but it worked. Um, it gave us a little more, a little juice there too. This was going to be a close game. They scored it's one nothing. You know, if it tired, then you know, you don't. You, 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 we didn't manage it well if we didn't call it at that time. Yeah, you know, and, and he hasn't scored in a while, and he does so many things that helps our team win. And some, some, a little bit of, and people don't know this because they're not in, inside the team, but, you know, he, he got skated on at Notre Dame and, you know, slashed across three fingers, um, and he came back and played on uh, the championship game, and he was a real gritty kid, and then, you know, he got back here at our doctors, and, you know, there was uh, a risk of infection, risk of infection, and else we couldn't play. And then when he came back to play up at uh, Dartmouth, he couldn't really ha hold the stick that much, never mind shoot it, puck. So, but he was okay to play. Um, so, you know, that limited him a little bit offensively. Um, you know, he's healthy, so I'm like talking about now, he's been healthy for, you know, probably the last two weeks, but there's been a, there was a period of time there where, you know, he couldn't, you know, he couldn't do that with a stick what he normally, you know, most people do. So, uh, so in turn, we know that, and he would, we just, he could help our team win uh, as long as he's cleared to play, which he was. So, um, so I wasn't really worried about the offense, and he's a guy who just, he gets his goals going on net, and he can make subtle plays around the net, and he's good defensively and away from the puck. So, uh, you know, he's one of those freshmen who doesn't show up on the score sheet as much as some other guys, but he's a big, big piece of uh, our team.
It's real good, Joe. I agree with you. It's uh, everywhere you look. It's it, there's quality goaltenders. You know, this goalie beat us three times last year, Hoffman, and so um, we didn't face him in Vermont. I think he was he might have been injured. Um, and the, and the other goalie is very good, but no, it's it's good, and and it's you know it's another one goal game. You know, and you look at the scores tonight, and you've got the main and, and low one one in overtime. I mean, it's it, it's a tough league. That's why you know, hey, I I know what the shots say, and I'm really. I mean, there's things that we need to do so the shots, you know, come down. But, hey, it's two points. And uh, I thought what you're going to have to do in this league is be able to manage 0-0s, zero 1-1s, one 1-0s, one, one 2-1s. to ones. And I think we're doing a pretty good job of managing those types of games. Uh, we've got to get better at, um, you know, reducing the shots, obviously. Yeah, we, you know, this year we've been great in the face-off dot, um, and Hedges has been very good all year long, and, you know, Smats has been working at and he's getting better, and, you know, he's, he's a powerful kid, he's got a lot of energy, so, you know, he, 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 bends, he gets down there, he's got a little center of gravity that, you know, his second effort will win. It, uh, um, it's funny you say that, because we went into the games, we got smoked the last couple of games in face-off, so we went in there as that being uh, a point of emphasis tonight uh, in our game, and I thought that, that part, you know, really showed up really well for us. Hey, when you control pucks, you know, offensively off a of face-off, the opportunity to score every time. That's the way we look at it. Um, and when you win face-offs in your own zone, I mean, you're negating an opportunity for the opposition. So uh, we spend a lot of time on our team in face-offs, and it's a big part of the game. Yeah. Paul, she accepted. Um, and um, we have to, um, tonight, I, for example, I thought we did a better job defensively. In the first period, I said, hey, they had about 17 shots. I didn't think they had a, there was a lot from the perimeter. Second, third period, I thought they had a lot more shots. They generated a lot of offense shots off of power plays. We, we were undisciplined a lot today. Um, and then what happens is you come off the power play and they still have momentum. So now we're trying to regain the momentum and we're putting ourselves in a, in a difficult situation because we're on the defense and not able to go on the, on the offense. And so it all stems a lot from, from my liking from, from our lack of discipline and giving them too many power plays and not being able to change the momentum uh, for our hockey club. And um, certainly we can tight, tighten up in our own zone and, and we've been working on that and I thought we did that. Um, and then you know, the last two, you know, they got more quality shots, they had numbers, but more quality shots. Um, I'm okay with, you know, I'm not a big shot guy. I'm not happy with us getting 19 shots. We didn't possess pucks down low. You know, that was a game plan of ours. We wanted to get it down low, possess it, but it's hard to possess it when we're sitting in the penalty box and, you know, killing a penalty and trying to get 200 foot clears. Thanks, guys.